All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, one of the uh, hardest things in these kind of videos, right, is is, is talking about old wrestlers because, like, ah, so many people think, like, when you talk about old wrestling on here, it's boring or old matches, it's boring, and, like, not that many people watch and stuff. But I just... You know, it is what it is, you know, uh, it is what it is, like I said, and uh, here's the thesis of this video. Um, Sunday, I popped in Survivor Series 1993, I was watching it, and just enjoying it, I just was in the mood. I, I wanted to see that promo by Jim Cornette backstage with the foreign fanatics when he was talking about the heart, uh, the soul, and the mind of the... Um, all-Americans, Lex Luger, the Steiners, and the Undertaker. I want to see that promo. That was a legendary promo. So I'm watching this, and I'm watching Lex Luger up there. It's the main guy in the WWE in 1993. I know we've had this discussion before about Lex Luger, but, uh, I mean, is it right for him? I want Lex Luger to go in the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, I can't say it any more simple than that. I want Lex Luger in the WWE Hall of Fame. Now, I... I'm I'm fully aware of the situation that that happened with him and Elizabeth and I'm I'm fully aware that a lot of people don't like Lex Luger because of what what went down with Miss Elizabeth. You have to remember something. We weren't there. We don't know what happened in that house. We can only read what we read, but we weren't physically there. We don't know if he physically abused Miss Elizabeth. We weren't there. We don't know if he was the cause of Miss Elizabeth's death. We don't know. We don't. We didn't, and Luger, you know, the stuff he's done in the past, you know, adultery on his wife. I mean, whatever. I mean, I'm guilty of it, too. I mean, I'm not the only one. Million Dollar Man, Lex Luger is guilty of it. A lot of guys are guilty of adultery on their wife. It just, it's unfortunate. It happens sometimes. Sometimes your wife ain't around, and you go out and you stray a little bit. It unfortunately happens. You know, I've done it. You know, Million Dollar Man's done it. Luger's done it. Tons of wrestlers have done it. Edge has done it. Shit just happens sometimes. It it sucks. It's ugly. It's not something to talk about. But let's just, all this being said, let's take all the Elizabeth stuff out of the equation, okay? And let's look at the career accomplishments for Lex Luger. United States champion, tag team champion, uh, should have been a WWE world champion, uh, NWA champion, WCW champion, uh, main evented tons of shows with Flair, main evented tons of WWF pay-per-views, WrestleManias with Yokozuna, and uh, Survivor Series with Ludwig Borga. I mean, the guy had a damn good run, and he was one of the biggest stars in WCW history. Uh, like Lex Luger or not, the guy had a hell of a run. If he was a... People hate Lex Luger because of what transpired um, from the Heat Seekers DVD where... They discussed how Le if a fan came up to Lex Luger back in the day, Lex would tell him, um, no, I'm not Lex Luger, I'm not Lex Luger. Lex Luger was not personal with the fans. He was not good with the fans. He was not a nice guy outside the ring. He would he was an instant heat magnet with the other wrestlers backstage, you know, because he was a dick. You know, I mean, there's been tons of wrestlers in the Hall of Fame that were dicks. They still got in. Um... I think that we should seriously take a look at Lex Luger going in the WWE Hall of Fame, not based on his horrible reputation, not based on what happened with Elizabeth, just based on career accomplishments and being one of the greatest superstars of all times. Total package, 275 pounds, Lex Luger. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't put it any other way. It's just, you just have to be open-minded when it, it comes to Luger. You know, um, the thing that I, I, I disagree with, wholeheartedly with the wrestling fans today is I constantly hear the wrestling fans say oh he was big and muscular he couldn't move and um that's a you know it's the genre of the day where the fan today uh likes the younger more athletic lighter wrestler Lex Luger was 275 pounds with muscles from head to toe that's what was happening in the world of wrestling when Lex Luger was in his day it doesn't mean he couldn't move Will I say Lex Luger was the best wrestler of all time? No, hell no. But he wasn't a bad wrestler. I thought he was very entertaining, and I thought he was one of the reasons why WCW was elevated to another stratosphere. In fact, if you go back and watch Starcade that one year he wrestled the Giant in the NWO, that, that crowd was on fire. If you go back and you watch some of his old matches versus Ric Flair, 
um, in Star Stargate 88, True Grit. Um, he went 45 minutes with Flair. What was it, Capital Combat 90? You know, he was great. I mean, Ric Flair was awesome. Lex Luger was awesome. Uh, Lex Luger was really a great wrestler back in his day. You know, um, did he have a lot of help? Sure, he had a lot of help from Ric Flair. Was he designed to make money? Like Jim Ross says, yeah, he was designed to make money. Um, could he have ever been the guy in WWF? Well, how would we know? SummerSlam 93, they had him travel all year on a bus. The Lex Express, all year. And he travels and travels and travels. And he goes to SummerSlam in the Palace of Auburn Hills. And uh, it's right there in front of the WWS face for him to beat Yokozuna to become the champion. They don't do it. They don't pull the string on it. Why? I have no idea. That was Lex Luger's time. And you could have had him drop the belt to the Hitman. I mean, that was the original plan at uh, WrestleMania 10. You, in the last match, they were going to have Luger drop the title to Bret the Hitman Hart. Why not? You know, why not do something? Why not give Luger a shot with the WWF title? You know, I mean, he was the WCW champion. I know it was a short duration. He won the belt August 4th, 97, and he dropped it back to Hogan August 9th, 97, and what was it, Road Wild? I get it. I get all that. But Luger was one of the greatest stars the sport had ever seen, and he needs his just due in the WWE Hall of Fame. Now, I understand that like six people are going to watch this video. That's fine. I expect extremely low views. It's not Samoa Joe. It's not uh, Nakamura. It's not NXT. It's not 205. It's not what's happening today, but you got to give the guys just due. You know, Lex Luger, it's time to go in the WWE Hall of Fame. He's a Hall of Famer. He was the main guy in 1993. You can't take that away from him. It's just it's got some controversy around him, and I think that's what's holding him back. You guys leave your comments below and let me know what you think about Lex Luger going in the WWE Hall of Fame, despite all the crap that happened. I think it should happen. Better than Benoit, isn't it? Thank you.